Don't you hate it when you suffer from allergies because it just makes you drag. But as we're going to find out from Dr. Shar, animals are so much different because they don't necessarily drag when they have an when they have allergies. They get kind of hyper excited. Yes, they can be, um, you know, behavioral issues even that they're just not quite relaxed and in sync. They're excitable, and um, so it can make life more difficult having to train and you know work with your animal when they feel like they're on the edge. Yeah, so I mean, what sort of things might they do? I mean, just a cat wouldn't be just placid as usual, but rather just hopping around at things that don't exist, and dogs would be barking at things that aren't even near. Well, usually what people notice with cats is that they will groom excessively. Mm -hmm. And, you know, dogs, um, they're the ones that are a little bit more bouncing off the walls and, um, you know, being a little bit more of a behavioral challenge. Um, you know, and then, well, or the thing that people will often comment on is that they're just scratching and scratching and it drives the owners crazy mm -hmm. because they can't even sleep at night because that dog is scratching. Right. And, um, and you know, or they're dragging their butt or, you know, they're licking, sometimes licking their rear end all the time, you right. know, because their anal glands are bothering them. Wow. So necessarily we spring into action and go to our usual veterinarian and say, gotta give the dog something. What can you give them? And the answer would be Benadryl or steroids. Is that necessarily the best way to go right off the bat? Well, you know, I wouldn't choose to go that way. Mm -hmm. You know, I think steroids are appropriate if you have um, a real assault to the body and that you need to suppress that reaction. You know, if, if airways are closing off, let's say that you were stung by a hive of bees or something right. like that, that's the appropriate treatment. Right. But if it is still kind of controllable, it's a much safer way to, um, let's say, use homeopathy to try to get the body to rebalance itself and then look for the causes of the allergens and see if you can sort of maybe heal the gut, heal the immune system and to rebalance that way because otherwise the whole allergic process just keeps feeding on itself and it gets worse and worse and pretty soon the conventional treatment of steroids and Benadryl isn't going to be sufficient to keep that animal you know, comfortable. And there's a downside to using Benadryl and or steroids. I mean, there are side effects. Very grave side effects. Because if you keep on giving steroids, you can cause the adrenal glands to shut down. And, you know, and that's a very bad thing. Um, the adrenal glands are important for, you know, one's survival and for balance in the body. And um, having excess um, steroid will also put uh, stress on the liver and the kidneys and you don't want to damage those organs either so you know you can use them but very judiciously and to get to the bottom of the problem is really the answer right and so the holistic way to go would be probably the preferred way to go because you're not addressing the symptoms you're looking for the cause right Hmm. That's good information, and you know what? That's what it's all about here on VetIonics.com is asking Dr. Shar, who is a holistic veterinarian, and we both share in the same philosophy. We feel like your pet is our pet, and we hope that's why you come back often to VetIonics.com for all the good information about how to have the best pet possible.